So good morning everyone. That Volvo construction equipment has taken to create a tomorrow which is good for generations and for us and a sustainable tomorrow for all of us. So we are here to drive sustainability and development through a fundamental uh, breakthrough in electrification. Most critical piece whenever we bring in a technology is the circularity around it. So we have to move away from the linear business model to a more circular one. If we bring in the batteries or any grid systems into it, how do we bring about the circularity around that? How do we secure that the equipment or the batteries we put into the equipment have a very circular approach and how it becomes a financially sustainable product for you and of course to drive policy related uh, initiatives like battery system and energy related infrastructure. So this is how the cycle moves from customer through our dealerships to our warehouse. Message behind it that we have been working in detail about ensuring the uh, entire life cycle of the equipment and the batteries what we use. All the batteries what we are putting now have a substantial life of uh, almost 8 to 10 years that's generally considered as the first life of the equipment. Since we are committed towards our sustainability goals, by 2040 the products what we sell or what we manufacture are 100% fossil free and up to 2030 we have taken an ambitious target of bringing at least 30% of our products which are actually fossil free. From 100 today in 2020 approximately we are moving towards this journey and by 2040 we would reduce it and then go towards electric propulsion. Battery electric is the one uh, very well known technology we are working on. Cable electric machines is the other technology what we are working on. The machine EC500 what you have seen is basically a grid electric or a cable electric machine which connects the direct power source into the equipment and of course uh, hydrogen fueled machines are being worked on both in terms of hydrogen as a fuel and the fuel cell systems. So these uh, are two technologies we are working on. Then different alternative fuels. Even today our diesel machines are biodiesel compliant and we allow a uh, blend up to 7% in some units and up to 20% in certain other uh, machines to use biodiesel. Of course we are working on different hybrid technologies. We are developing mild hybrids where we use the hydraulic energy to repower the machine and of course the last one is uh, improving the hydraulic efficiency of the existing diesel variants. How do we ensure with the lower consumption of the fuel we deliver higher power and uh, efficiency in the equipment. So this is a very simplistic representation of how the technology would get adapted in future. On the x-axis if you see it is basically a daily usage if you are going to use the equipment for approximately 12 hours a day, what is the kind of solution would be very suitable for you? So if you see on the y-axis, it is the energy consumption per hour. So these machines primarily would be uh, powered by battery electric solutions up to almost around 150 uh, kilowatt per hour and up to around 12 hours of uh, daily usage. Not that these machines cannot work beyond 12 hours. The point here is it's a very simplistic representation of the whole concept. However, these machines, what you can see here, V loader L120, what is placed, or future of a 20 ton and 30 ton grid battery electric machines, they would be able to run beyond 12 hours also. But the moment you go from a low utilization to a high utilization range, the technology of cable electric comes in. And here comes our uh, EC500 range of new, uh, many new products which we are developing on our excavator range would come into that. And beyond that, as we move, we are getting into fuel cell and alternative solutions, what I talked about. 